Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these adorable little boat truckles. Now obviously we have a tall one and a short one. And they do stand up on your shelves, but they don't tend to like... You've kind of got to bend the legs around the right way. There we go. Now for these, the first step is pipe cleaners. So for each one you need three pipe cleaners. I'm going to move him out of the way now. So we'll start off with the tall one. So you line up your pipe cleaners, obviously allowing for the legs. Lining them up evenly, which is tedious because they stick to each other. Once you've got them all lined up, your legs need to be approximately 10 centimetres long for the tall one. So once you hit 10 centimetres, give him a twist and keep twisting because this becomes the body. So you keep just keep twisting them around each other. Being sure to make sure you're twisting them all evenly so you're not getting one shorter than the other as you're coming up to the top. Once you reach to about six centimeters, you need to take the outer two separate because they become the arms. Now, as you can see on the bow truckles, one arm has two hands and one arm has three. So for that, you need some wire. This is just thin gauge craft wire. And I will show you how to twist the hands. So for the Part with three hands, you need a little bit more wire, but you can always trim it to suit. So it's always best to cut more. Now the first step to making the three hands is to fold your wire in half. Now you will need pliers for this, it is very fiddly. And you want to get it quite squished, because the hands are very thin. So once you've got squished together in the middle, you want the fingers to be about three centimeters long. So at three centimeters, you want to bend your wire out to make the other two sides. So bend it out to either side. At, what, at this point, you should twist it to ensure it stays together at that point. So twist your wire up a little bit to stop it coming unraveled. Now, the other sides of the fingers should also be three centimeters. So just bend the wire back. This is done because you don't want sharp edges on the ends of your fingers. Being sure to once again press and twist. Okay, so once you've got it, once, once you have it at that point, give it a couple of twists. And cut off that excess piece of wire. Now repeat the same thing on the other side. Looping it around together so it doesn't fall apart. Now 
and give that one a twist as well. And you have one side of the hand. Trim off that little piece. And just twist them so they sit. You want it to look like that. Now, to attach him onto your bow truffle, this is only the first stage of attachment. The whole thing is wound up in wool. See? So you're wanting your arms to be about that long so you wind it back and twist now obviously at this point it is not very stable and it will wobble around but we will take care of that once we've added the wool now for the other hand you need a slightly shorter piece of wire because it only needs two fingers now for this one fold it in half In half again, again to avoid the sharp edges being on the end of the bow truffle. And then one more fold. Trimming off the excess all the way back here because you don't want them to be on the outside and bending them around. Now just give him a couple of quick twists and squish it together to avoid any thickness. Now the attachment is the same on the other side. Just fold it over and twist. Okay, now obviously the head for the bow truffle doesn't need to be that long, so we just fold him over as well. Give it a couple of quick twists, a whole quick twist to hold it in place. Being sure to poke all the pointy edges down. Now, the final step of the bow truffle is to wrap him in wool. This process I start at the body because it's the easiest point to tie on. Just do a simple granny knot. You won't see it because you'll go over it with a couple of layers. Now, I have found some people suggesting that you attach the hands later, but I haven't found it terribly complicated. Now, all you do is wind along your bow truffle trying to cover all of the pipe cleaner as closely as possible. Each piece gets a couple of layers, so don't be too pedantic on your first run. Now, once you get to the leg, you only want to wind down the one leg at a time. Keep winding until you get to the very edge of the foot and then wind back, trying to catch any of the exposed stuff, but it doesn't matter because they're supposed to look a little bit furry. It's best to try not to cut the ball of wool. Just keep it as one continuous strand. It means less knots to hide later. 
Now keep winding, it doesn't matter how much you bend the leg out of shape because it easily bends back and the wool gives it that little bit more stability. Once you get back up to the top of the first leg, just keep winding and go once around the body before continue. And then I came up between the second and third leg before continuing down the third leg. This just ensures that there's no main parts of the pipe cleaners exposed at the top of the legs. Now bend this leg up out of your way so you can keep winding. Once you've reached the bottom, again, winding back up. Now again, once up around the body and coming around the third leg. Once you've done the legs, continue winding up the body of the bow truckle. Now, the body, after the fur, you don't come back down the body, so try and cover up all your pipe cleaner in your first round by doing it nice and tight. Once you've reached where the arms come on, you can continue out onto the first arm, but always go back around the arm and then around the body once, just to ensure that it's attached firmly. So winding along the edge of the arms, try not to be too particular because you don't want the arms to get too thick and you're coming back. Now, once you reach the end, wrap the wool around where the hands go and come back. Do a couple of loops here to secure the hands more firmly. Now, once you've got it to that point, wrap up and around the fingers to the end and back down. And then again with the other finger, winding up. Just make sure you cover as much of the silver as possible. And wind back down. Now once you get hit back here to the fingers, try and 
add an extra couple of layers just to cover up all that pipe cleaner. Once you've done that, wind your way back down the hand. Now you'll notice that the hand doesn't move around anymore, it's securely attached to the body. Once you've gotten back, just do a couple of layers around that part of the body just to hide any joinings. And then once again continue along the second arm. Now this one's a little bit more tricky. You need to wind it around and then catch with the other finger and bring it back. So you're attaching the whole hand. You need to wind it around quite a few times to secure the hand. Always making sure to come back and winding around the arm. And then continue along the fingers. Once you've reached. Once you've reached the end, just wrap back. Wrapping all the way to the end and around the hand. This back gets a little bit fiddly because you can't bend the fingers out of the way as well easily as the arms and legs. So you've just got to be careful to avoid. Now you should notice again at this point that the arm no longer moves around and then wind it back down the hand. Now once you've reached the middle all you need to do is wrap the head So just continue up. You can push the arms down out of the way if they are annoying you. Now I did do a couple of layers of wool on the head, just to give it that little bit more shape. Now 
once you've finished with your head, sort of pushing back into shape and wind down the body a little bit. I found the easiest point to tie it off is around the legs. So we'll just do a quick run down the body. Now, threading up and around all the legs to hold them securely. And then you just want to make a loop around one of the legs. And tying it off. Push it right up. up with an extra loop. Once you've tied off at the end, just cut off the excess wool. Position your leg, twist him around so you can't see the knot. Now, for the top, I just have some fake flowers that I've pulled the leaves off of. Now, you don't want this annoying plastic piece, so just pull that out. Now, to attach this, you do need some super glue. Now simply take your leaves and slide them as best you can onto the top. Now adding the hot glue just sparingly around the top and you also want to flip it over and put a couple of drops of hot glue on it from the bottom just to ensure it's securely in place. At this point you do want to squish it in just to make sure it sticks.